few months ago, I was digging through some old footage from a documentary we made about a sailboat race, and I found a clip that was really, really weird. But before I get into it, warning, this video is about physics, waves, and I'm gonna dork out super hard. Okay, here's the backstory. We were hiking through the woods trying to get an overhead shot of this place called Seymour Narrows, a body of water that separates Vancouver Island from mainland Canada, and it's one of the most notorious places in the Pacific Northwest. Lots of boats have sunk there. And one of the reasons is, is it has extremely strong tidal currents. Once we got there, we set up a bunch of different cameras, including some that were shooting time-lapse photography. And our goal was to film the sailboats as they were coming through, which they had to time very specifically. See, the currents here can go up to 15 knots. 15, one, five. Because sailboats can only go about five to 10 knots, it means they can only make it through the narrows when the tide is going with them. So that's some context of the clip you're about to see and the one that literally blew my mind. The current is running from right to left, going stronger and stronger every minute, and the wind is blowing from left to right at around 15 to 20 knots. And most sailors know that when wind and current go in opposite directions, some pretty crazy things happen. But before we dive into the specifics, we need to do a quick background on waves. Surface gravity waves, the ones that we surf at the beach or crash through on the boat, are created by the wind. As the wind blows over the surface of water, it creates a friction effect that creates little ripples, and the ripples can grow into bigger and bigger waves until they become the size of swells. The speed that surface gravity waves move through water is governed by this equation, where g is the acceleration due to gravity and k is the wave number. And although you don't really need to understand the specifics of this equation, it's important to understand that it describes why waves of different sizes move at different speeds. Bigger waves move faster than smaller waves, which is for some reason kind of intuitive sort of like adults walking faster than children. So now that you understand that wind creates waves and that waves move through the water at a certain speed, we can start thinking about what happens to waves when there's an oncoming current, which is what happens in the video at Seymour Narrows. Let's check it out. At the very beginning of the clip, the current isn't very strong and you can see some white caps breaking and swells moving from left to right. This is also around when the sailors made their way through and things were pretty gnarly. As the current gets stronger, things start to change. The waves grow bigger and noticeably more wave breaking occurs at the entrance of the narrows. At its peak, there is a defined line of breaking waves. To the right, it's calm, while to the left is full of waves. In ocean physics, this phenomenon is called wave blocking, and it occurs when the velocity of the opposing current equals the speed of the waves. The waves are trying to move forward, but because the current is going so fast, they appear to be standing still, sort of like running on a treadmill. Wave blocking isn't new. There's tons of research on it, and it can occur in places like tidal inlets or river mouths, where you have an outgoing tide that opposes incoming wave motion. But what happens next in the video, I've never seen and never even heard about. Watch what happens as the current gets even stronger. The current gets so strong that you can see a powerboat in the clip is even struggling to make headway against it. But watch what happens to the waves. disappear. When I first watched this, I was like, what? But then I started thinking about the physics and things started to make a little bit more sense. What I think is happening here, and it's pretty unique to a place like Seymour Narrows that has such incredibly strong currents, is that the current speed is going faster than the propagation speed of the wave. As the current gets stronger and stronger past a critical level, not only does it block the waves from moving forward, it actually pushes them backwards. This causes all of the waves to get dragged upwind and out of sight, leaving Seymour Narrows flat as a lake. This totally blew my mind. If you had asked me what the sea state would look like with a 15 knot current going against 20 knots of oncoming wind, I would have told you it would look like crazy, big waves, breaking gnarliness, not super duper calm. I've never heard of anything like this happening in the ocean physics textbooks I used in grad school, let alone see it firsthand. So did I get it right? Is my explanation accurate? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Add a new theory and share this with other ocean loving nerds like me and maybe together we can figure out what exactly is going on in this video. Thanks for watching. Yeah.